Forecast. Here's KATC meteorologist Rob Perillo. Welcome back. Well, stormy one this evening. These storms lasting for a few more hours, then a bit of a break tonight, then another round of storms tomorrow morning. We're all hatched in for a slight risk of severe storms, hail and damaging winds. Not so with this th cluster we think that is moving across Louisiana right now, uh, but more so with a squall line that is beginning to firm up across portions of Oklahoma. More on that in just a bit. But this afternoon, storms firing up in southeast Texas along a warm front that we thought if we saw the storms there, they'd move off to the northeast, but they've turned mainly to the right, and that's why we've had uh, kind of busted on the forecast for late this afternoon, early this evening. Lots in the way of showers and storms locally farther north and west is where the severe weather threat is. Severe thunderstorm watch warnings, tornado watch and warnings up in Oklahoma, and we'll be watching that activity later on tonight. So what we have going on right now, some uh, relatively low top thunderstorms, but nonetheless intense storms they are producing torrential downpour rates of about one to two inches per hour. But fortunately, we see some of the heavier rains moving along. I don't see any training going on, uh, but still the threat of several inches of rain over the next several hours. You can see everybody in Acadiana wet. Strongest storms now by Grand Chenier on southward. We have some very intense activity in the coastal marshes of Vermilion. Uh, less cloud ground lightning as you get farther to the north, but heavier rains moving into Iberia, eastern upper St. Martin, and of Eventually, this mess will be getting to St. Mary Parish in the next uh, half hour to hour or so. Uh, doing some storm tracking, maybe some small hail. I interrogated most of the storms, uh, maybe a little pea sized hail, but more than likely it's just big fat raindrops in most of those storms. So, fortunately, no severe weather, but some gusts of 40 to 45 possible. Here's the latest predictive radar model, keeping it on the wet side through 8 or 9 o'clock tonight. But if anything, this model may be a little bit slow. Then we get a bit of a break after 10, 11 o'clock tonight. And then our action will be shifting off to the north and west. We'll watch a squall line developing, moving southward through the pre-dawn hours and the threat of storms that could contain damaging winds, maybe hail, but damaging winds. My main concern with these storms as they race southward through daybreak tomorrow morning and then move off the coast by mid-morning tomorrow. And by lunchtime, things will be quieting down. We'll see some clouds and probably late afternoon sunshine, maybe even a pretty sunset tomorrow evening. Then the weather's on cruise control thereafter. So primary threats of severe weather, a slight risk for all of Acadiana for damaging winds, hail. Notice that risk enhanced to moderate as you get up into Oklahoma this evening. Then that severe weather risk pushes off to the east as we head into the day tomorrow. Rainfall concern right now, several inches of rain possible over the next few hours uh, with the thunderstorms that we have going now. Then another one to two come in tomorrow morning. So some localized heavy rainfall amounts will be possible. Tune in tonight at 10. We're going to have the very latest on this. Uh, much needed rainfall, but we don't need some of the rainfall rates that we're seeing. And again, the models indicating some gusts could be up to 45 or 50 uh, with the storms this evening. But the main action coming in with this squall system, notice uh, there'll be a few pockets of 50, 60, maybe even 70 mile an hour winds as uh, this squall line moves to the south. So tomorrow morning, be on the lookout for that threatening weather. So a stormy evening, gusty winds and locally heavy downpours of a couple of inches. Mid 60s, that's where we are for our low tonight. Tomorrow, 81 the high. A stormy start to the day. Maybe some damaging winds with some of those storms with gradual clearing for the afternoon. That rain chance at 100%, but it doesn't mean it's going to rain all day long, mainly just early tomorrow. After that good looking weather, look at this 50s at night coming back. Uh, warms up for the weekend and uh oh, here comes our first summer preview early next week with temperatures pushing 94 highs. That's it for weather. We'll be right back right after.